given two in 32 variables, what type their sum should be? In 32, what if it overflows? Add overflow check. What if an overflow error isn't recoverable? Use in 64. Doubling the bits each time isn't practical. Use big num. It's slow. In this video, I'll show you a new approach for defining integer types. Instead of defining an integer type by some power of two number of bits, an integer type can be defined by the range of values it can represent. Interval arithmetic can be used to track changes to this value range at compile time. What is interval arithmetic? Instead of representing a value as a single number, the range of possible values is represented using an interval. For example, adding two intervals with zero minimum and 100 maximum results in interval with zero minimum and 200 maximum. In the case of addition, it's because the smallest result possible is the sum of the minimums and the largest result possible is the sum of the maximums. Other arithmetic operations have different formulas for computing the result. Interval arithmetic is usually used to deal with computational errors, but here it is used to track the possible range of values an integer variable may hold. As you can see, the compiler tracks the value ranges of integer variables and converts them to the smallest C++ integer type they can fit in. This minimizes memory usage, maximizes speed using int fast t types, and ensures overflows never happen. To see more videos about my programming languages features, please like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter.